can you help me understand this? We're talking about walkable cities all the time, but we don't have one because I'm on West Antonio Street. Here's the walkable sidewalk, but here's the other side. And actually the city's kind of dyslexic like me because if you go down Hopkins Street, this side has the sidewalk, but this side does not. So I just don't understand. We're like in the middle of a code rodeo. We've been having all these conversations with buzzwords about a walkable city, but in the historic district, there are no sidewalks. And like who really walks for reals on Hunters? Nobody but maybe me to go get some beer over at the little store over there. I mean, that's not where to place your priorities for the sidewalks, people. Oh, hip hip hooray, people. We've got a sidewalk on the other side of the street. Okay, so I was just listening to my iTunes, y'all, but I'm like, for real, I want to go for a silly walk. And I have to, like, be like an Indian to figure out to avoid the dinosaur cars and that's not going to happen when you don't have a sidewalk it's very dangerous so i'm not sure why we keep talking about walkable cities and keep taking eminent domain in certain areas by where there's going to be developments ergo hunter road but um we don't have any but much in the historic area but this is sure is a pretty sidewalk here y'all y'all isn't this cool look Aw, someone put their name in the sidewalk. Isn't that a cool tree, y'all? So pretty. I just want to make it clear, y'all, this is not just some silly rant. I've been attending these workshops these open houses, these public hearings, all these other little Saturday functions they have, blah, 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 and they talk about walkable city, walkable city, and it's like a playbook, but you don't get it if you live in the historic district, or it's only if, like if there's an eminent big, if you ever notice and you watch the patterns, of where they want these walkable areas it's where a future development's going to be they don't maintain the current status quo of what's going on ergo all the blight if you go one street over from west san antonio on mlk they've had that same crappy looking building by don lorenzo's for years with mold and rats and gosh knows what just sitting out there and they don't and they get cbg money for it y'all they get all kinds of money to fix that stuff look at these sidewalks this is the historic district, people. But of course, what am I complaining about? I don't live in Victory Gardens where it doesn't drain right, or Blanco Gardens where it floods. I'm just trying to take a stroll down West San Antonio in the fastest growing city, hoping I don't trip in my new boots. But it is a beautiful day to be in the neighborhood, y'all. It is pretty outside. Uh, can you tell that I found a new application? for my iPhone. Isn't this awesome? And I can even switch colors, y'all, in real time. So we can go for the noir look. That's a shout out to you, Bill Cunningham. Here you go. It's all noir. And as we hit our noir, we're on North and West San Antonio. Shout out to you, Mr. Cunningham. This is my favorite sidewalk here, right? We're like, in the gateway, as y'all always say. The, they talk about gateway drugs. Well, apparently there are gateway power money drugs when it comes to development. The gateway to the city, the gateway to the neighborhoods, the gateway to the historic district, the gateway to the downtown, the gateway to the outlet malls, the gateway to the river. There's no sidewalk on this gateway, people. I guess I'll cut through. Okay, people, we're coming up to my all-time favorite part of walking downtown, and that's actually trying to cross the street without getting run over. Here we go. It's always a challenge. And you know what? I want to say, I'm not going to say, well, actually, yeah, I don't appreciate some of the rude um, drivers of some of these big buses around town. They just act like, you know what? Just suck it up. We're the big boys and just do what we want. Just like our development model, they have that same kind of paradigm because I've had some run-ins with some of these bus drivers giving me the 
evil mojo. That wasn't too bad. Okay, okay, y'all, we're at Johnson and Hopkins, and this is where the sidewalk ends. Unfortunately, this is the area that they talk about when they wanted the roundabout. The reason we needed one, they can't fix the streets at Hopkins, was because it would be the gateway to the neighborhoods, but we have no sidewalks on the gateway. Because there's the light down the street, you can see it. So, in fact, there's even road construction signs to tell us that they're doing road construction. I don't know, maybe the folks on West Antonio would have some sort of ability to keep sidewalks off their property because it's their property. We should gay them. Because <laughs> sidewalks do empirically take away land. construction project but we've got patches like this in the actual sidewalk right <laughs> and, and if you go down further they still haven't picked up the fill or all the stuff they scraped up that was probably three weeks ago I emailed Mr. Englehart over at TxDOT and he said he wanted to be a good neighbor but a good neighbor picks up their trash I guess now we have to like call call his supervisor, this is the sidewalk we have in the gateway. <laughs> and like, right there's the light, y'all. Yep, this is the sidewalk we have in the quote-unquote historic district. Kind of a neat little find here. I don't understand why Dan Williams doesn't pick up all the crap over there on Hunter. Dudes, there's a ton of crap you guys have left that you haven't picked up, and there's two videos to Mr. Englehart about that, Dan Williams and Paul. This is a really cool part of San Marcos Americana. Are these cool chickens? Chicken George, they call them. So, we're at <laughs> you see that tree that used to be over there, guys, behind the Margie Hernandez sign? That used to be a huge tree that went all over, but the TxDOT contractor stupidly cut it down. I'm going to show you what else they stupidly did as well. Thank you, City of San Marcos, for the sign, finally. Y'all put it up right when it was all over, but yay, thanks for the sign, y'all. Okay, y'all, this company here, this pet store, which I have a problem with pet stores, but whatever, they have all this stuff here on their fence because of that contractor, and the contractor never came back and cleaned it up. Well, we're back to Belva now, and of course, this manhole's been missing since the last the All Saints flood or whatever they call it, that thing just washed away. All the water comes down Bishop and it drains down my street of Belvin. Uh, it, I just love all the new developments they have because I just get all the water down my street. It's so much fun.